Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorials, let's go look on a new photometric type atmosphere that was added in VU 2014. Again, we'll still have it all our older type atmosphere, standard environmental well metric, and as well now it's a spectral rename it to the standard spectral, and we have a photometric spectral. The Photometric spectral, it is representing physically accurate sunlight model as long with your camera. So it's taking into consideration the ISO, shutter speed, um, and adding all other options and combining them together in automated mode. So it's kind of a little bit easy. Of course, you always will have options to override them as you're going along. The also photometric is meaning it's in a way how human eye absorb lighting because our eye, human eye or our eye does not take all light equally some of the lights we get have it a little bit more sensitive to another one will less sensitive so in this model it's try to represent this to more accurate representation of the lights let's go ahead and switch and in this tutorial by the way when we're going i will try to load it older type of render of spectral and we'll try to compare between photometrics and a standard spectral what is difference will be first off the biggest difference you will notice it is some of the options will be disabled so let's go ahead this is standard and before switching I will just go ahead and load it on um, the photometrics we'll just let's go says noon and we'll go to atmosphere editor so you'll notice right here, this is options is disabled. If we have it before light intensity, light balance and ambient light, now they disable. You always can override and access them by checking allowed override for the metric settings. So instead allowed to view automatically working with them, we can go and override them anytime when we want it. So this is kind of similar to this. Okay, let's go disable. Uh, next options also you'll notice it's a little bit different now on the sky mean altitude and decay as example if we're going to load it back to the standard you'll notice right here we have our all settings four kilometers and three kilometers so this is settings with standard and in the photometrics they will change and try to adjust to more um, with the settings again they're all relative it's not necessary scan mean altitude it is trying to simulate how our eye absorb and view I also um, found some other effects will kind of affecting between those atmospheres for example glowing set intensity and scattering work slightly different so we'll look on this as well the other big options, and it's kind of going hand by hand together, it is change advanced options in the cameras. So right here example, we have a film settings, which is now have no exposure, view, photographic, linary, red hair too, red hair and false color. So we have it more effect and we have it more ability to modify our settings or going directly in exposure value and modify straight in so let's go go back right here okay one thing you also notice when i was modifying switch between different atmospheres they will come up with this box where it says do you want to automatically adjust or keep atmospheric camera exposure um, i find out in many cases they automatically work somewhat accurate however in some specific cases it does not work very close but it does try to reset very close enough so you can adjust slightly however if you keep it keep current atmosphere you'll notice when you modify this it's become too dark when you switch to standard or it become too bright when for the metrics and reason why because of right here in exposure it will be modified so currently it says to four when it's set back to zero if you want to readjust your lights notice even in spectral we did not change any of these settings so you won't go back after and readjust manually it's leave it all this as default everything okay and of course if we switch back to photometrics click no it will be all white because 
right here we need reset so how i say just keep in mind um between when you switch between mode how they all will uh, work together the other interesting things about this photometric that it's not just effect sunlight in other ones it's also applied effect to normal lighting so let's go ahead create quadric light and you'll notice right now in the properties if we're going inside the lighting in light editor right here we have a new photometric settings which allowed you to set different type the color already predefined or using profiles for specific light with light fallout and lighting which is kind of very nice and predefined so you can just preload at this and light will apply it and work in this way so that is kind of um, a very big help when you try to light up interiors or one and one very accurate lighting to the real world so this way it's actually performed very good okay let's go ahead and preload couple um, scenarios and see how they will work with a new photometric model okay so right here one scenery I created this terrain was creating a with world machine and some textures based on the maps applied inside the view this is image it's um, let's go render here is the standard and you can see kind of yellowish look sunset maybe applied to this so if we're going and change atmosphere currently it is standard I'm going to apply for the metric and then one says automatically adjust okay let's go ahead render and we'll kind of compare side by side okay so right here finish render let's click OK for now and actual size so right here we have a two you can notice it's quite a bit different in the lighting it has mean it's one is good and bad however this one looks just a bit more interesting I think let's go and try to readjust and options to edit the first things when I notice its decay was kind of off and again right here we drop quite a bit below even on the sky and if you remember in other ones it was about 8,000 kilometers high so let's bring the sky up and we'll bring decay a little bit higher and this is two main um, offset was also you notice our fog density dropped to zero so I'll bring this one a little bit up in this case we can modify it and bring very closer um, in some cases I found the new photometric work in some cases a little bit faster than spectral but in another cases slower so it's depend on amount of the calculations probably need perform and it will require a little bit more play around so so far let me add some settings applied to the atmosphere so we can get slightly closer to the original one okay notice right here the lights is still um, going in an automated mode so anytime when I if I want to bring in more sunlight I probably can re-enable which create a little bit harder shadows and bring more details this way but we'll just go with automated okay let's go ahead and render okay so we've done render okay and let's do um, actual size again and you can see this is original kind of yellowish and right here look on this clouds and about this area lighting so and I do like how they come up a little bit better reddish bring a little bit more but again it's just settings as well the shadows even this using in a sun soft shadows notice right here the shadows kind of look a little bit more um, not as detailed so that is different 
but overall I will say it does look more accurate maybe to the light however as an artist you always can go and override some settings to bring and in some cases for the art maybe spectral standard will work better as a film and exposure going the photometric still produce at this moment more accurate with the color mostly like look on the clouds right there this is look kind of accurate on the clouds again this is all with a just simple adjustment settings um, and as we're going more to create other tutorials we'll start using more these photometric type of atmospheres and see how is that can benefit us in our work thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio and please remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com